All right, I'm trying to bring back the home studio show where I talk about what's new and notable in the music production field. And in this episode, I've got some plug-in news, a couple of new audio interfaces, and of course, near the end, I'll check out a couple of free VST plugins that you might want to check out. But let's start the show with a free VST plugin that was recently released from Black Rooster Audio, and that's Row Gold. In case you missed the full video review that I did on this one, Row Gold is based on the classic EMT 140 hardware plate reverb, but what Black Rooster Audio have done with this one is they've replaced the steel plate with a gold plate, and this gives it a little bit of a warmer sound. And I really like how easy they made it to use. It just has four controls, plus you can resize the user interface if you like. And of course, the most important thing is that it sounds great. And I actually was inspired by the Row Gold and I created a whole song using it on every single instrument and vocal in the song. Now, Black Rooster Audio's Row Gold is available on Mac or Windows in VST, AU, and AAX formats. Next up is another freebie. This is Wave Audio's Studio Rack Free Upgrade. Now, the important thing with this update is that you can now use Studio Rack with any VST3 plugin, not just the Waves plugins, like what you used to only be able to use with it. So you can use any VST3 plugin from any company here, which is really nice. And this can be an incredible tool that's going to help speed up your mixing workflow by allowing you to create mix templates for individual instruments in a variety of different styles. So maybe you have a go-to effect chain for male hip-hop vocals but you also like to work on some folk stuff too. So you have a go-to chain for those vocals as well. So you can save each one of these racks separately and you can recall them whenever you want in any mix and in whatever DAW you happen to be using. So your mix templates aren't anchored to one single DAW. If you want to try out a new DAW, you can do that and you can still load your mix templates in there. And this can be a smart and efficient way to work faster. Plus, if you're working on an album or an EP and you want each track to have a similar sound to them, then using effects chain templates can help to achieve that goal. And Wave Studio Rack makes it super easy to do that. Some other cool things that you can do with it are you can turn any plugin into a multiband plugin as there's a multiband split rack. It also has internal side chaining if you need to do that plus much more. Wave Studio Rack is available on Mac or Windows in VST, VST3, AU, and AAX formats. If you're looking for a new audio interface, or maybe it's your first audio interface, then these two might be on your list to check out. They're the Universal Audio Volt 476P and Volt 4. And each of these interfaces give you four inputs and four outputs. On the Volt 4, two of those inputs are Universal Audio's analog mic preamps, and you can record using the vintage mic preamp mode, and this is based on the well-loved Universal Audio 610 tube preamp. Now, on the Volt 476P, you get four of those analog mic preamps. Plus, also on the 476P, you get the built-in analog compressor that's based on Universal Audio's 1176 compressor. And another cool thing about the 476P is it has this nice vintage style to it with wood panels on the side. But both of these audio interfaces have MIDI I.O. on board, so you can easily connect MIDI devices to your computer or iPad, whatever your device you want to connect these to. And the Volt 4 is $239, where the Volt 476P is $469. Now, if you want some top-of-the-line sound, either of these audio interfaces are going to deliver. Native Instruments have announced that Complete 14 will be released on September 27th. And if you aren't familiar with NI's Complete series, these are different bundles that include some of Native Instruments' most popular plugins and contact libraries. Complete Select gives you 25 of their products, with some of the new additions being Soul Sessions, Neo Boogie, Backyard Jams, and more, and this one will be $199. Then next up, you have Complete 14 Standard, which gives you over 120 of their products, including Contact 7, Playbox, and Isotope's Ozone 10 Standard, and those are the new additions to this bundle. Standard's going to go for $599, and now if you want even more, there's Complete 14 
Ultimate Bundle, and that gives you over 200 of their products. And this is a sound designer's dream, especially if you create music in a variety of different styles, maybe for film or video games or just for yourself. Ultimate goes for the ultimate price of $1,199. That's $1,199. And if you're the type of person that must have pretty much everything, then there's the Ultimate Collector's Edition, giving you 250 products and unlimited creative possibilities. It goes for $1,799. And I have Complete 13 Ultimate, and I'm really blown away with all of the instruments and everything that I get with it. I wanted to create a Motown kind of song one day, and I did that super quickly and easily with all the instruments that you get in here. And I've never created that style of music before. So here's a sample of what I came up with in like 10 minutes. So if you want a taste of native instruments quality, but you're not prepared to shell out $200 right now, you can grab NI's FM 8 synth for just $10 over on Plugin Boutique right now. This is a huge synth with over 1200 presets. Plus you can choose a free plugin with any purchase over on Plugin Boutique. Your options this month are the unique Mantra Hurricane synth or the KS Space Reverb Effect. So for $10, you get an incredible huge synth plus your choice of another excellent plugin. Very cool. All right, now let's check out a couple of free VSTs, starting with a cool new guitar amp sim. This is APOC amp from Guitar ML. And this is an easy to use amp that gives you four amp models that you can choose from. It can do some vintage cleans and also get dirty depending on the model that you choose. It even has built in cabinet sim impulse responses. So each model has its own cab sim and you can also disable that altogether if you have another IR loader that you prefer to use. So you get input and output controls, a gain knob plus a mix knob very straightforward and you get the APOC amp for free on Mac, Windows and Linux in VST3, AU, AAX and LV2 formats. Plus you can also check out their other amp sim called Smart Amp while you're grabbing this one. This next freebie is a synth plugin from a developer that's been doing an excellent job with free synths. This is RF Bassline from Ronin Fed. And this one gives you some vintage acid style bassline sounds based on the Roland TB303. It's a single oscillator monophonic synth with a low pass filter, distortion, and slide effect. And you get about 15 presets with this one. They work as great starting points. And it's a cool little synth that I'm sure can inspire someone that's looking for a synth bass sound. And you can get RF bassline on Windows only in VST and VST3 formats. <laughs> Still not enough freebies for you? Well, check out 80 free VSTs by clicking the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or give it a super thanks if you really liked it. Now, thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV and the Home Studio Show. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.